we are here inside of Photoshop and I would like to show you the difference between invert and inverse. So let's go and grab our rectangular marquee tool and drag out a selection like so. Now up under image adjustments we have the invert command. The keyboard shortcut is command or control I. So let's select that just now. And this is the result that we get. So you can see the invert command goes after pixel values. So black becomes white, white becomes black, and colors reverse. So what was a green stem becomes pink. So if I press that invert command again, command or control I, we basically get back where we started. Okay, so that was invert. So now I'm thinking the selection that I dragged out, I would like to reverse that. So instead of the area inside the rectangle being selected, I would like the area outside the rectangle to become selected. And we can do that using the select option inverse. Command or control plus shift plus I. So if we press that just now, we have indeed reversed that selection. And I'll prove that to you by going up to image, adjustments, invert. And sure enough, we invert the pixels now outside of the rectangle. Very nice. Okay, so let's uh, invert those again by pressing Command and Control I, and then let's get rid of that selection by going up to Select, Deselect. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the concept there: invert and inverse. Let's do a more practical version just now using this flower. So I'm thinking I would like to mask this flower. In other words, separate it from its background, have transparency around the flower. So I'm going to go and grab the quick selection tool and drag over this flower. And I can already see very quickly, I'm going to have some problems. So if I zoom in just here, even if I make the brush a little bit smaller, it's really having problems selecting through here. So what I'm thinking is I would like to try and maybe select the not flower, in other words, the background, and then maybe try inversing the selection. So again, still with the quick selection tool selected, if I drag through here, I've still got a problem where it's picking up a lot of the flower. So let's go to select, deselect. Let's try another tool, the magic wand tool. Now I'm using the default tolerance of 32, and I also have contiguous turned on. So what that means is only pixels adjacent to something that I select can become selected. In other words, I'm going to start clicking through this background in just a moment. And with contiguous turned on, I can't accidentally choose pockets of pixels inside of the flower. So I'm going to click here, and that's already looking fantastic. I'll just hold down the shift key a couple of times and click in a few other random areas around the background. And that's done a fantastic job of selecting the not flower. So now, of course, to select the flower, I just go up to select inverse. And that's looking great. At the bottom of my layers panel, with this selection in place, I am just going to click on this button at the bottom here to create a new mask. And sure enough, fantastic. You can see the checkerboard pattern running around the flower. And that looks fantastic. So it's done a great job of separating the flower from the background. So let me back up just there with a command or control Z. And a second time to get us back to the point where we had the background selected. In other words, the not flower selected. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go and mask this just now. And this is the result that we get. So the idea, of course, here is I made a selection of the background, but I neglected to inverse it before I made the mask. Now, of course, we could undo this and go and do all those steps, but I want to show you a nice, quick, easy fix if you end up in a situation like this. So you can see over here in the Layers panel, keep a close eye to the rectangle showing the selection around the outside just here. So that's the layer selected, and of course, the layer is just made up of a bunch of pixels. But if I click on the mask, you can see it now has the selection rectangle around the outside. The mask is also just a collection of pixels. So we know in a mask, the white area reveals and the black area conceals. So uh, knowing that the mask is just a series of pixels, let's press Command or Control I with the mask selected. We invert the mask and get the exact result that we want. Very nice. So that's it, guys. I hope that clears up the difference between invert and inverse in Photoshop.